Hello everyone, welcome again. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn how to install MySQL on Windows. Now before we go ahead and understand how to install MySQL on Windows, we need to first download the installer for Windows. So the first thing you have to do is go to google.com and search for MySQL download and go to this MySQL downloads page. Once you go to the MySQL downloads page, this is the official website of MySQL and MySQL is the world's most popular open source database. It is very popular, very widely used and available in enterprise edition, which is, uh, you know, uh, paid version. And uh, then the community edition, which is basically the free version. So uh, a MySQL community edition uh, is what we are looking for. We'll be practicing to uh, the whole SQL tutorial with the community edition. So in the MySQL community download, we are interested into downloading MySQL installer for Windows. So we'll click on MySQL installer for Windows. If you want to install MySQL on other operating system, go to MySQL community server. And in this drop down, you can select the operating system for which you are trying to install MySQL community server. Since we are trying it to install on the Windows, we'll simply go to MySQL installer for Windows and then simply click on this file here, which is 405 MB. So download this bigger file. It is Windows 32 bit. You need to basically download this one so i'll click on download and let's download this particular installer first so in the community download you have the option to log in using the oracle web account or sign up for the oracle web account it is not mandatory so you can skip it i'll skip and just start the download so the download will start it will take some time so once the download is successful simply go to the folder so i'll go to the folder where the file is and double click on this msi file so this will open the installer and you'll see it is preparing to install so it might take some time so you have to please uh, be patient while it configures the installer so do you want to allow this app to make changes to the device yes now do you want to allow this app to make changes yes uh, just click yes here and it will launch the installer right now in the installer type if you see you have the developer default uh, which installs all products needed for mysql development purposes we are not interested in doing any of the development purpose or we are not going to do any development activities. We are more interested into learning SQL. So for that, uh, we need to do the custom installation. We'll choose what we need to install, uh, but you have the other options. So you can either install server only, the client only, uh, in the server only, it only installs the MySQL uh, server product. In the client, install only uh, the client products. In the full, it installs uh, all the included MySQL products and features. So in the custom, we'll basically choose what all we are looking for to install. So choose the custom and click on next. And now here in the drop down, you will see the available product list. So MySQL server, uh, expand this and you will see MySQL server 8.0. If you expand, you will see MySQL server 8022 64-bit, right? So just select that and don't forget to click on this arrow. So click on the arrow and you will see that the server mysql server has been added in the to be installed section the next thing we want to install is the application so basically mysql workbench is what we are looking for as well so mysql workbench will install select that and move that into the to be installed one and they will also install mysql shell All right so select shell and add the shell so we have selected what will be using throughout this tutorial so server workbench and shell uh, just select all of these and click on next now you'll see ready for a ready to install status click on execute server is complete it's installing the workbench now so workbench workbench is complete as well now it's it's uh, installing mysql shell it might take a while to install all of these products so you have to be patient while the installation is going through so once all the product status is complete, we'll move next. And now we are ready to configure MySQL server. Click on next. So uh, in the config type, you select, uh, if you select the development computer or server computer or dedicated computer. So development computer will use 
the minimal amount of memory so just make sure you use the development computer because we don't want to change it to server or dedicated computer so just leave it a default here by default the port will be 3306 so i'll leave it all the options default here and click on next in case you have your machine wherein the port 3306 is being used you can change this port to something else like 3307 3308 whatever port is available for you click on next and use uh, the strong password so this is the authentication method this is the recommended approach i'll leave it as is and i'll use the recommended password for the authentication so when i uh, authenticate with the database so click on next and we have to put the mysql root password here and put any uh, password that you are comfortable with so and i'll say repeat password so it shows the weak password to you can choose the strong password there and here you can use the mysql user accounts but we'll understand about adding the user when we progress through the sql tutorial so as of now i won't use any user i won't add any new user here so click on next and this is the windows service name so i want to start the mysql server setup mysql server at system startup so please make sure that this is checked if this is not then you have to all all the time start the mysql you know service once your computer boots up so i'll leave it as start the mysql server uh, at the system startup and click on next then leave everything as is and uh, these are the configuration steps and click on execute so it's initializing database which says it may take a long time so please be patient there so you can see uh, the configuration for the server was successful let's click finish and the configuration is complete click on next then you can see uh, the checkbox start mysql workbench after startup or start mysql shell after startup so uh, if these are checked then workbench and shell will start after startup uh, one more thing i want to highlight here is that in in some of the cases say for example in your machine there are some dependencies that are not installed so uh, when you are installing this mysql server it might ask you to install some c plus plus redistributable something some libraries so you have to make sure that you go ahead and install those libraries before you proceed further in my computer those were already installed uh, as my you know i have uh, already installed those so it didn't ask for those libraries to be installed but in case it is not installed on your machine you will be popped up to install those libraries which will be an additional step that you need to follow once you install that the rest all steps in the installation of mysql server are exactly similar as we have followed in this particular video so once you are done with this I'll click on finish and you'll see the shell has launched and then it will also launch mysql workbench right so this is the local instance that got created and now if you click on this instance it will ask for the password that we have provided right so during the setup it asks for the password for the root user so i'll provide the password for that and you can click on save password in the vault so it won't ask you again and click on ok so now you can see i am on the mysql workbench and that is the completion of the installation step for mysql server so that's all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching